Hi reception, we're going to go over our last but one diagraph. So I'm going to quickly go through the ones from the previous few weeks and I want you to shout them out. This is a tricky one from Monday. Struggled with that one, didn't I? Are we ready? And shout them out and do the actions. Ew, as in you, ew. Oi, oi. Ow. A. O. Do you want me to put it out so I throw it? O. And the short one, up, oh, really short, not long, up. Oh. Mm Do you remember? Mm and the last one. Shh. Now today, so I think I've got it the right way around. So apologies if I forget, if I haven't. Uh, and today I'm going to show you there are a few ways of writing the sound er. Uh. Now we want in reception, we wanted to concentrate on this one, er. Uh. But in lots of words, er uh is written in another way. So let's do the, let's put this one in the middle because that's the one that in reception we look at. Can you see that? But e, another way of writing er, uh, instead of with a er uh and a er, uh, we write it, let me just turn this so you can see it so that we don't have trouble. We have a it. I'm not going to join you just today, just for now, so you see it. And a er. Okay, and another way of writing it is a uh. And a, oh, let me turn my pen around. And a er. And I, I'm not joining them because they are new. So they are new ones. So I just want you to get used to the two letters. So you could write er in three ways. And so I need you, you know, look at that one. There are three ways that you can write it. So are we ready? And this is going to be your, t your homework. I'm going to post this story on this activity Tuesday night, but this is your work for Wednesday because I won't be able to post in the morning because I, I have a meeting. So I didn't want to be too late. To, I didn't want to be too late tomorrow. So I'm going to post it tonight. You don't need to start it tonight. So it's er, er, er. And when we do this one, remember er, that's the action, like a mix er. That's one of our words, mix er. And we'll write that down. Mixer, we mix in our hands like the the um, mixer goes round and round. That's what we do with our hands. So if I was writing mixer, draw my line because you have been doing your lines beautifully. Because you have to present your work as best as you can, isn't it? Be like the woodpecker, don't give up. So mixers. And then, uh, so I'll join that one. Uh, and it's got one, it has two, three, four sounds. Mix, uh. Now, another word that has uh, and I'm going to use, it's one of our, sort of one of our, tr it's probably not a tricky word. No, I, that's wrong, Mrs. Keegan. It's one of the words we use quite a lot in our sentences. It's her. I could, um, is that her coat? Her, because we're referring to sort of a girl. Her, and it's got two sounds, two sounds. 
And you think what the first sound did? What the first sound, sorry? Who? So we got two sounds. So the first sound is And then the second sound is the digraph. Uh. Can you join in? Take my time. Brilliant. Now, her. What you will notice about this one, when you start thinking about lots of words, often, not always, but often, this digraph is written at the end of words. So things like dinner, ladder, a mixer, is written at the um, end of words, but not always. That's not the rule. That's the thing with English. There's lots of exceptions. We call not always this following the rule. So uh, now, if we were looking at this one, and this is going to be your target, your activity target is to find some other words with er uh, using these two diagrams. So I'm going to draw a line from this one, and I'm going to give you one each because my time will run out otherwise. So, and this is where, when you move up the school, if you know all the different ways of writing these diagraphs, that'll help you with your spellings then. So you've learned the sound, you know what sound it makes. Now we look at the different ways of writing it to help with your spelling. So when you move up, not in year one yet, but later on when you're much, much bigger, when you write all by yourself, you'll know all the different ways of writing this sound. So if we were writing this one, we remember we did oi, because we had a lot of boys. Now in our class we have beautiful and beautiful boys, but we also have beautiful girls. Girls. Girls isn't spelt with this one. This diagram is spelt with this one. Girls. So can you see? There we go. There we go. I'm, having, I'm never very good with this. There we go. So, girl. So, it's got three sounds. Girl. Girl. Okay, remember, it goes under the line. Sit that curly part on the line. Girl. And you may think, oh, it's that one. And remind yourself, no, it's the other way. Girl. And I'll try and join it now because... I'm doing my right thin look, I go, I do my it, and then I go da, let's start again so you can see me. So I start at the top, I go down, and I go up at a little angle, like a little sharp line. You see, that's a sharp line, it doesn't go straight up. G and that's a nice tall letter with a curl sitting on the line. So it's got one, two, three. And if you notice, I don't, I try not to leave too many gaps between my letters, purely because we only leave a space or a gap between words. Those are letters or sounds. They're not in all together. They make a word, but we don't leave big gaps between them. And you're you haven't been doing that, which is amazing. So we've got girl, and if we were going to use this er, and I'll move it, <laughs> I'm every, I'm, I need a bigger camera. And if we were going to write this one, we could write, and I've got loads of lists there, but I'm thinking of one you make, oh, it's a good one. Paddy is very, very, very scruffy. He needs to have his fur, or animals have fur taken off because it's really long. So fur, it's got two sounds. Fur. Now, remember, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. So it's not the t. It's not the t ha diagraph. It's not the rude clown. I'm putting my teeth on my tongue. It's a different letter. Different. One of them's a diagraph. One of them's a single sound. So it's. So. We go down. Good. Now I'm going to run out of time. So draw me a tree map with three sounds and think of some words that go with it, okay? Some amazing sentences last time. Thank you. Hoi vow.